Well, hello YouTube. I received my CNC machine. Well, the other half of it. The first half of it came yesterday. But it's now this is the 6040 model, and it seems to have been, this is sideways, sorry, manufactured by CNCest, CNCest. Right, I wonder if these were named by the same people that named the Fuyu acrylic window on the laser cutter. Anyway. Oh, not much in the way of packing at all. Our little track here is broken. Well, maybe not broken, it may have just popped off. Um, hopefully that's the case. Let's see what else we've got here. Assuming this was originally part of packaging, kind of crushed, not sure what that was supposed to have done. Bubble wrap. All this nice. Cabling, the water tubing, connections for the controller. Uh, yeah, that looks like it just popped out. It's not broken, so it's too big. Okay, a little bit of styrofoam. Let's see if we can lift this out of the crate. Looks like the hold down end for cable track. First thing I noticed is the track on the outside edge here is a little bit um, banged up. Looks as though the front rubber feet are missing. Wait, never mind. Here's one of them. Here's our water line connections that go to the motor and power connector for the motor. How's that go in there? Like that it looks like. Wiring to the stepper. And this is also the unit that has the ball screws. There is no backlash on it, which is good. That feels solid. Here's our broken cable loom, which looks like it should just snap back together here. All in all, it looks to be in fair condition. So let's get this. Oh wait, here's our Here's our um, fourth foot, which has come apart. I guess that just sits in there like that. And it sits on the little balls on the end here. So yeah, let's get this thing down in the basement. All right, so we're back in the basement here on my wibbly wobbly work table is the first package that arrived. Nice to see that it's packed with this nice sort of foam and not as an expanded polystyrene or laser cutter tape packaging. So at least we'll be making a little bit less of a mess with this one. We've got presumably the instruction manual and the software which um, for a 3020 which um, this is actually the 6040. Here is the fourth axis drive unit. We're not in shot. Stepper motor drive, small lathe chuck on it, chunk of foam. And we have the CNC controller, 
which is not the controller that was pictured in the auction. This is actually looks like a nicer one. This has a switch to switch between manual and PC control. Good thing, doesn't sound like there's anything rattling around inside. Emergency stop button. Oh, okay, well, that probably shouldn't do that. We're gonna have to take this apart anyway and take a look inside. All right, so we've got our controller. Spindle drive, or not spindle drive, uh, fourth axis unit, manual, and let's check out the box of stuff, because the auction didn't exactly list what it came with. We'll see here, we've got our parallel cable, shouldn't pie, not sure what this is, PTEF, Teflon tape, well this is the cable that goes with our fourth axis drive, power cable, the center, which is adjustable in and out, this is a semi-live center, but this is not going to be turning at lathe speed, so that should be plenty good for that. We've got a bag of bits and parts here. All right, three Allen head cap screws. A set of chuck jaws. And our chuck key. So the other ones that I was looking at, I was looking at some of the smaller models the 3020 and 4020 and they all showed that they came with just um, carbide tipped kind of v-shaped engraving tip we've got a couple spare fuses here i'm not sure if that's something to be say that's nice that they gave spare fuses or something i should be worried about that it's going to need the spare fuses but we actually have some four high speed steel end mills for something in Chinese 3020. We've got some actual wrenches. They are Zeng Gong wrenches, but they're, I was expecting if it came with any sorts of tools to be your standard kind of um, stamped steel variety. Um, but these are actual forge or cast. We've got 13 millimeter, 15 millimeter, 14 and 17. Definitely not quality tools. Wow, there's some nice burrs in here. Oh no, it's not burrs. It's actually sand still stuck on the end of it. We've got our hold down clamps here as well. We've got one. Eleven of them. This is our water pump. This is a Teng Da pump. And we've got our same crappy fitting that probably doesn't, yep, exactly, does not seal at all on the threads because it is a straight cut thread going into a pipe thread.